Hey folks, it's Antar, and I'm back with another narrated PBR friend battle. My opponent today is fellow YouTuber Zaki or uh, who who is also does narrated PBR battles. Uh, he's already put up his version. He put it up a few days ago. Um, go to you should go check it out. Um, but so here's my version. Uh, chose Main Street Coliseum, and we're using UU doubles teams. Um, so I send out Rotom and Logo, uh, not something I do quite often, um, and he sends out a Zangoose, and Claudia is his um, uh, Luxray. He pulls back Luxray because he expects the Earthquake, uh, and sends out his um, Alt Chimera, his Giraffarig instead. Uh, anything with Chimera is a good name for a Giraffarig. Uh, anyway, uh, Tachikoma sets up a substitute, as does his A. Um, and I use Earthquake on Logo, um, which doesn't hit Rotom, but it does hit his guys. Uh, and even with the uh, one X or the one stage lowering, uh, thanks to Intimidate, it breaks um, his um, his guys. Uh, what you call it? Substitute. Anyway, I leech seed uh, Alt Chimera uh, and finish off um, his Zangoose with uh, Hidden Power uh, fighting. Um, yeah, I was really glad that uh, KO'd uh, Zangoose isn't that bulky. Um, <clears throat> uh, I was just also glad that I was faster than all of those guys, but I kind of expected that based on the last turn. Um, his uh, Giraffe Rig puts up a Reflect. Um, which is going to further hinder um, Earthquake's power, but that's okay, I went for the Leech Seed anyway. Um, I cut out all the um, scenes of um, Leech Seed doing its thing. I don't think on any of the Pokemon that I had out, Leech Seed ever, ever restored health, but it did uh, sap away at um, Alt Chimeras. Anyway, um, I go with, for a Charge Beam on uh, his... Uh, Giraffe rig as I pull back logo, um, send out Steelix in its place. Um, basically, I was anticipating an Ice Fang or a um, Fire Fang against uh, my uh, uh, Torterra. Uh, instead, he uses Crunch against my Rotom uh, to try to take it down. Uh, so, Substitute goes down, uh, and uh, Alt Chimera uses Crunch as well. Um, so, uh, Tachikomo luckily is really, uh, is pretty bulky and survives, although with not that much HP. Uh, 35 out of 129 luckily is enough for one more substitute should I need it later on. And so I pull back, uh, Tachikoma and send out Pidgey, my Charizard in its place. Uh, he pulls back Claudia because he's expecting the Earthquake and sends out his Slowbro. Um, so Alt Chimera uses Crunch just in case I didn't switch out. Uh, pr pretty smart. <clears throat> uh, Hatterak, my Steelix, uses Earthquake and does a fair amount of damage. Uh, Alt Chimera is now down to very low HP. Um, just going to keep on Earth... No, I use a Stone Edge instead because um, Alt Chimera is basically dead. Um, and meanwhile, Pidgey is not going to stand up against the Slowbro, so I have to switch out to um, my Lantern. Uh, that's what, right, that's why I didn't use Earthquake. Um, so anyway, he uses Zen Headbutt, uh, again, I guess to get the flinch, perhaps. Um, although I'm pretty sure my uh, Charizard's faster. And uh, Stone Edge um, actually does hit his Caesar, doesn't do much damage. Uh, and then he uses Surf. Um, which takes out uh, his guy, which is actually bad for me because that means I don't get a, a, a what's it called, leech seed uh, boost. Um, doesn't do much to lang uh, lantern, um, and I was expecting this based on the animation, but it gets a crit against Steelix. Um, he and I had a little bit of a discussion afterwards about whether uh, Surf would have taken out Steelix without the uh, crit. Um, I did some calculations. Uh, because my uh, Steelix is sassy and runs a lot of spec def EVs, um, 
the it actually would not have uh, surf would have done a maximum of what did I write down ninety seven percent damage uh, and that's assuming max um, spec attack investment uh, and a modest or similar nature uh, on his um, slowbro so he pulls back slowbro uh, and sends out instead his luxray which is um, which doesn't isn't going to affect either of my guys who are special. Um, and so Lantern takes a considerable hit. Um, okay, so sorry, I should explain why I'm using Thunderbolt ag against, uh, or Thunderbolt and Charge Beam against his Seviper. The answer was not that I was anticipating the switch. The answer is that I, I screwed up his nicknames. Um, I thought that Slowbro was uh, Isaac for some reason. But um, it doesn't matter. It turns out to have been a good move after all, although a Psychic would have... Uh, been better, um, even against his um, Luxray. Uh, so I pull back Angler. I'm going to need him later on, I figure. So I send and I send out um, my Torterra instead. Uh, Claudia, that's his Luxray, uses Light Screen. Um, I'm impressed by his guys. Uh, no, no one's a, really a dedicated attacker, and no one's really a dedicated support guy. Uh, everyone kind of plays a mixed role. Uh, it's a very balanced team. Um, okay, so I had, he used, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Hidden Power with his Isaac the last turn, and I was wondering what uh, type it was, um, and great, given the fact that he has Giga, Tra Giga Drain, I'm guessing it was uh, Hidden Power Ground. You should rewatch his video, I'm pretty sure he says. Uh, anyway, he sends out um, his uh, Ninetales, I used Ninetales in game a long, long time ago, and I really was less than impressed by it. So I was, I really wasn't think, uh, thinking that it would be that impressive. Um, but that Ninetales is what ruined my momentum. At this point in the match, I was, I think I was up uh, a few KOs, um, and at this point I just get completely stalled out. Uh, my momentum gets completely broken. Um, Kira is burned, that's not really consequential. Uh, Claudia uses Ice Fang. Very glad I switched out Logo. Um, Pidgey takes it like a champ. Um, Kira uses Psychic. Uh, I was expecting this to do a lot of damage, um, but uh, I think he's using uh, his uh, Fox Ninetales uh, as a special wall. So um, Pidgey uses Roost, restores some health, uh, and I'm also expecting some kind of um, Super effective hit against him. Um, Alyssa takes the opportunity to calm mind, uh, and Claudia uses Crunch against uh, my Gardevoir, uh, which is a super effective hit, and given Luxray's massive attack, is enough to KO. So down goes Gardevoir. Oh well, um, Gardevoir really couldn't have done too much in this match. Um, and I'm, I've got my back up against the wall. A lot of my guys are wounded, um, which he points out in his commentary. Even though I have the lead when it comes to the number of Pokemon, um, I've been switching out a lot, and so that's why. Uh, I'm probably switching out too much, frankly, and I need to uh, redo my move sets such that I don't need to switch out as much. Anyway, I go for a substitute here, which turns out to be a mistake, I use, and Brick Break to break the... Um, uh, light screen. And uh, yeah, so I've got Life Orb on that guy. Um, so he uses Heat Wave uh, on the Nine Tails, which does a great amount of damage. So he's got a lot of uh, spec attack investment too, and it breaks the substitute. And so at this point, I know what's coming. I really should have just attacked with Rotom. Um, I'm playing way too conservatively here, and that's what cost me this match. Oops, spoiler. Uh, yeah, I don't think you could have really thought that I was going to win at this point. Um, I was just outclassed. Um, so, yeah, I've got very few choices left. I send out uh, Angler to try to um, take down uh, Alyssa, his um, Ninetales, um, and hopefully end this stall and get back on track. Um, Pidgey uses another Roost. Um, yeah, didn't really know what else to do. Alyssa is faster and uses Energy Ball, which is a super effective hit. And Logo, even though he's a tank, especially when it comes to spec depth, is down. 
Uh, oh well. Uh, Claudia uses Spark, so I'm pretty glad I roosted. Uh, although maybe it would have been better to attack. Yeah, in fact, it would have been better to attack. That was just a wasted turn. I have got less HP now than I did before. Um, so uh, this match is over. Uh, I've got basically one attack left. Um, yeah, Dragon Pulse pretty much needs to be removed, but I don't exactly know what to use instead. Um, Pidgey doesn't have the best moves, uh, best move set. Um, he comments in his uh, battle, uh, in his narration, that you should, really shouldn't run a mixed uh, Charizard. Um, I really chose a mixed Charizard basically because of what his stats were. It was an in-game guy, and so I'm either going to have to reboot or something. Anyway, he won. Uh, good game, Zaki or Calcom. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Peace out.